Welcome to Ripcaster. This is a quick video on the new Grim Audio MU1. Grim claim this is the ultimate digital audio source. Let's have a look. Here we are. This is the Grim MU1 on our turntable here. I'll just give you a quick 360 view of the product. It's finished in a very nice uh, metallic case, very well finished. And we'll just have a quick tour of the actual product. Uh, the key feature about the Grim is that it's uh, a digital audio transport, but it also includes a, a Rune core. Uh, so it's not only a Rune endpoint, it's a Rune core. So it's got everything you need in one box to go streaming. On, on the front, uh, we've just got a simple uh, colour display. That displays track and title information for metadata, etc., as well as source selection. Uh, simple logo, there's a power indicator on the eye on the Grim. On the top you've got this clever knob and that acts as a, a volume control, digital volume control when enabled. It also allows you to navigate the menus. Uh, it's also a single press or a look, press and hold. Uh, activates different features within the product. If we have a look around the rear of the unit we can just have a look what's on the back panel. Over here you've obviously got the IEC mains input, uh, it's a universal input supply, 90 to 240 volts, uh, 50 to 60 hertz. Uh, curious feature of position here is the, the start switch. Uh, you've then got an Ethernet connection here to allow you to connect it into your network. Uh, you've got USB ports here to allow you to put external storage onto the device. You can also fit internal storage within the device, so there's room for a two and a half inch drive, uh, typically a solid state drive, to add additional storage into the room. Uh, another curious feature, you've got an FM uh, aerial input there. It's actually got an FM receiver built into it, so you can listen to the radio through it. And then you've got different uh, digital inputs. So we've got uh, optical, coaxial, and AES uh, digital audio inputs. I've got an output to uh, Grimm's own active speaker systems, LS1, so that will connect there. And then you've also got two uh, digital AES outputs. Uh, one's fixed uh, vo volume, the other's uh, digitally controlled via the, uh, the rotary dial on the top. And we'll see it uh, connected to a pair of key speakers shortly. But that's, that's the basic product. Very, very nicely finished, quality box. Uh, minimalist design um, and looks great. Okay so we've got the unit now connected up, switched on and powered on. We've got it connected to these key fully active speakers here. So we've got the AES cable coming digitally out of the back of the Grim MU1 and that's going directly into these keys fully active DSP speakers. They're converting the digital signal into the audio that we're going to hear. So what you get with this solution is a very elegant, neat Simple solution, all in one box, Rune Core with Rune Transport directly into fully active speakers. It's a very minimal number of box counts, great performance. Uh, as you can see, it's powered on, power indicator on the Grim logo, and we've got the little display here telling us what the track is. So it's playing from Rune, what the frequency is 96 kilohertz, 24 bit, um, track name artist, album, etc., and the progress through the track and the source. Hope you found that useful. As with all of this type of equipment, you need to come and listen to it, so please give us a call and we'd be delighted to demonstrate the Grim MU1 to you. Thanks for watching.